Chance of Garage, I'm Chance. Um, today, uh, we're back in smaller engine territory, uh, chasing down a, what's the name of it? I think it's a residential version of a zipper, uh, lawnmower. I have a zipper TS-22 that I mow the yard with all the time. And uh, all else fails, I'll just rob parts off of this one for that one. But uh, $100, zero turn, you know, go pick it up. Uh, this time I think I'm gonna get real critical of dollars and time. So am I really making that much money if I flip this thing? We'll find out. Here we are. I haven't looked it over really at all. Just kind of got it on the trailer, but. Um, kind of didn't ask any questions, probably should have. It's not a very big deck, maybe like 35, 40. I don't know, we'll measure it, but it's a grazer. Um, I don't know, assuming 90s. Uh, got a two cylinder Briggs on it. Um, don't know anything about it. Guy mentioned said that uh, it'd get hot and uh, stop running. Mentioned that he thought it was a coil issue. Uh, been sitting a couple years since then. So, let's dig in. Got her in the shop. Uh, so I just went through and brushed off some of the bigger debris. Um, went ahead and popped the motor cover. So it's a 12 and a half horse Briggs. Let's uh, go ahead and pull this air cleaner out of the way. Make sure there's no mouse house. I have been sitting outside for that couple years it's been down. Alrighty. That's a good sign. One acre. Ain't too bad. Rusted to the base plate. Oil in the water? Or water in the oil? Goodness. Oh, I. Oh, even clean. That's good looking oil. Let's wipe that off. She's over full. Doesn't smell, I guess. 
I bet you it's just over full. Kind of got me a little nervous. Doesn't look milky in any way. Uh, I don't know. We'll change it. Filter don't look bad. What's the tank smell like? Yeah. Really doesn't even smell bad. Can't tell if she's full or not. A little hazy there. Let's get out the flashlight. These are notorious to leak. The gauge fill caps. Let's see if we can see any water. Oh, there's some floaties for sure. Tank's not all rusted out by any means. There is a little bit of trash in it. Maybe some water. Not terrible. We'll probably try and run it. Kick on our key. So if we got a oil pressure light, I don't know if she'll click or anything. Let's just see. Yeah, she's gonna take some time. Let's see what about her lights? No headlights. We're missing one of them. Rock that rocker a few times. Still no dice. PTO made a clicking noise. Hopefully that's uh, functioning. Hmm. I'm assuming she's dead, dead. May try and see if it's <coughs> hung up or if uh, safety is involved or what. Giggles, let's just sit and see what happens. Whoa! Still on. Uh oh. Cable froze on the throttle. Choke seems to be functioning. Let's see. Uh oh. Get the old PB after. What? bars in the way. should pull that cover off. Let's see if this base plate will come off. Maybe take a little persuading. These rubber grommets. They're not super hard. Pistol. Which way does this one want to go? That way. And then That one underneath there. There we go. Oof. Oof. Get some trash down in the carburetor. Unless I just did that. But I think we need to get the vacuum after. Let me get the handful out of here. 
Yeah, that's bad for our linkages, Rose. I don't think it's Mouse House. I think it's just blown in there and got caught. Well, maybe wrong. Well, there's an acorn. It'd be hard to blow in there, wouldn't it? Well, that's a pecan. Huh. Cool. Let's see, we got some trash down in there. Yeah. We either blew it out, blew it into the intake, one of the two. Um, let's see, can we close? <coughs> let's try this. Since them plugs are that easy to get to, might as well <coughs> pull them, see what they look like. Hose down that linkage while we're here, too. I think there's a governor. And perfect. <coughs> Those look brand new. Wow. I wonder if he changed them when he started having problems. Huh. Well, <coughs> that's a good start. Alright. Wanna crank? Not even a little bit. Uh, well, that should light up here. Tripping her. So that should send fire once interrupted. So if we, what happens if we bridge that gap? Tell nobody what we're doing. That should send power directly to the starter. It ain't doing it, and it didn't like it. Should be able to get fire straight to this and not worry about anything else. Let's see. Let's see if that is the case. If not, we can just clean the contact.
time. No way. Let's roll it over a little bit more. Let's see if that. Yeah. Pistol. I put up some tools, kind of came back to it, um, just hooked everything back up. So, should have power there. Yeah. And then when I turn the key on there, and whenever I start it, there. So, pull up my relay is actuating. Just not spinning my starter. Right. Kicking her into high torque and sitting on the seat. <laughs> I'm afraid the starter's broke. New day, same problem. I ended up giving up on it. Um, so, Still not spinning the starter. We either have bad ground issues, bad starter, or something blocking the starter. Because the tur motor turns, it's just the uh, starter won't spin or do anything. So, chase those two avenues. I think I'm going to pull this side cover off just because we can and it's easy. Two bolts hold that thing in there. Is that about seven sixteenths wrench? I may try and run the ground strap straight to the starter. Just to rule out all the problems. All right, that's good. doesn't work, uh, let's say we got a bad battery, or not battery, uh, starter. So, so let's see. You kidding me? I don't know. Let's pull out the starter. We messed around with it long enough. This is how I do this. I mean, it seems maybe it'll spin. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Before I fix things. Yeah. Alright, so we got our hot. Should be able to just touch ground and it spin. Nothing. Let's go to engine start. Nothing. 
this thing ain't wanting to spin. I think we actually made the right call. For once. I think this is locked up. I can't get that to do nothing. I'll beat on it on the bench for a while, but we got another starter. All right, so this is the one we just pulled off. This is the one that came with it. You can see it'll spin. This one won't do nothing. Uh, the issue with this one is the starter gear is out in it. Looks like somebody's already taken clip out of it. I don't know. Let's put this gear on that one. What do you say? Um, new used starters hooked all up. Uh, it's, it was still a pain to get to those two bolts. Uh, bolted back up. Everything's hooked up. I have not touched the key, so we don't know what's going to happen. Um, but, fingers crossed, let's see. Yeah, <sighs> Where'd all that crap come from? <clears throat> At least it cracked. Boy, it shot a lot of trash out of there. <sighs> I feel like I need to cover up that uh, car. Boy, that was aggressive. Let's try again with some safety squints. We should put some gas down this thing. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm the one. All right, this is the old weed eater gas. Yep, yep, way too much. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was perfect. That may have legitimately been too much. Let's try not to start a fire. I'm gonna have to get air clean on this thing. It's got trash everywhere. Huh. Are we starting to get fuel yet? I think we did that a few times. She may pull fuel. Let's uh, remove our carbon monoxide hazard. Got the right kind of angles, you just gotta shoot from the top side. Yep, too much again. I don't know, I'm scared of catching stuff on fire. Try again. It is throwing a lot of trash up the Screen or something like that. They just have to break down and put the air filter back on. I'm hesitant. I don't want to have to pull this car back off. We're pulling fuel. Ugly, but we're pulling fuel. What are the chances? Was it? I don't know how this throttle works. It's one of them governor things. Let's put it about right there. Yep, 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 yep. Too much again. I think one of them squirt bottles that everybody's got. Like a I, what do you call that? Iodized, anodized, uh, carbonated. All right, going hot.
Bumping a little smoke, not bad. A little bit of a racket. Yeah. Well, she didn't like to run without the choke, but shoot, yeah, that thing's running off that old gas. A little bit of oof. She may have some water in it. I don't know. We need it clean. We may dump that line. But awesome. We got her going. I'm uh I'm tempted to well I don't have a throttle cable. Let's uh I think I'm gonna clean that line. It looks like there's some water in it. Just dump that what's left in that filter out. And uh, let her idle clear a little while. We may be shortly doing a test drive. Mm, yeah, see the separation down there? Definitely had some water. Get this out of here. Put it in the nice. Beat on it that direction. freed up uh, it eventually broke in the sheath uh, this is just a generic uh, Amazon one seems to be what we needed to oh try and cut that off uh, maybe a little long I'll either work around it or cut it down uh, I think we got it functioning. It doesn't want to go all the way back to idle, but I feel like it's something to do with the spring return and not the actual cable. So let's fire it up and see if we can adjust the idle or adjust the throttle. Nope. Did it just grind every tooth off of this thing? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to bring you guys in there and show you that started. So that's buried up under all this stuff. But there it is. I don't know if you can tell, but it ain't got no teeth. Here, I'll buzz it for you. See? No teeth. Great. Alright, it's the next day. Uh, went to Orschlands and uh, bought a new starter gear. Cost me $15.32. And then spent some money on tube for one tire. So I bought two tubes because it's cheaper than anything, but right now we're just leaking on this one. So we'll throw a tube on that. I already got the starter gear put on. That was as big of a hassle as it was the first time. So uh, I think it was just binding up on that old armature. Uh, I changed that out to the other one that wasn't spun off. So. I think we're going to grease things up, uh, maybe throw this tube in and drive it around, hopefully. See. Alright, we're going to see if it moves. I got that tire tube put on it. Uh, greased a few uh, zerts till I ran out of grease, but let's have it moves. before I kick this thing on and I think they're below I think if you pull that pin right there and this one here we should be able to fold this deck up uh, so they were in the front bottom remember that front bottom Oh, 
we're told. Found it. Let's see what we got. There's some blades in there. Still got all my fingers? We're good. one froze. Yeah, all of them spin except for this one. sound bad. I don't know. It'll spin now. They'll either wear it in or they won't. <laughs> Alright. Make sure your stuff did not fly off. Huh. 
Sorry about that. Okay. It would cut grass, technically, at this point, I'd say. Now I have to try it. Ugh. I gotta clean up the shelf, though. There's stuff everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna pull it out, clean up. We'll mow later. All right. All the tools are back. Somewhat where they belong. Floor swept. I'm gonna take this thing out here. Make a pass through that wild garlic. And uh, see if it'll cut it. Success, I think. Um, we don't have a lot of grass to cut. Yeah, let me spin it. That's uh, that's the uh, what was it? Three or four passes we made right there. Not much to to cut through. We may end up having to go out in the field, cut that old sagebrush that's still hanging out there. Sage grass. Uh. Everything seems to be working. I didn't. It doesn't sound as terrible as I thought it did. On some of these, uh, this old belt, it ain't super tight, but it ain't slipping. I don't know. Seems to be doing pretty good. I just go over the whole yard. I don't know. That's uh. I gotta get that cover back on the motor. I don't want it to get hot on me. So after the test drive yesterday, I was like, well, I'll just mow the whole yard. And uh, about halfway through my first pass, I uh, buried it up in the mud. This thing has no traction. Um, so shut it off, yanked it out of the hole, went to start back, nothing. Uh, started checking around, ended up no spark. Uh, so the story that they told me was uh, get hot, wouldn't run. So it was a coil. It may be the coil. So um, it's buried, obviously. Well, things are going poorly. I thought I could just pull that pulley off, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, I get you down far enough. Anyways, there's a. Oh my goodness. Take my word for it. There is a, there's that plate right there. So this whole fan assembly has to come off this way. That will keep it front. It is welded to the frame of the motor. So we're pulling motor. Yeah, 
Who's right? All right, got it up on the bench. So the issue is we've got to get under this side cover, um, but the fan and this pulley is keeping us from it. Uh, so our coil is up under there. So I'm probably just gonna start, uh, I'll have to yank this. Uh, hopefully it's not a whole flywheel, it's just a fan, but pull that pulley and then get in there and see what our coil is looking like. So, to explain myself, um, this style, the old wrap around puller, they work sometimes. Uh, this time was not one of them. It, uh, it was warping the pulley real bad. Um, so, got out the crow's foot and uh, had nothing to attach to. So this is what I've done. All right, <laughs> I've welded two three-eighths bolts onto that collar. So, just took and welded it to there. And then this, oh my goodness, will barely catch any threads. And uh, we'll pull it off there. Whew, that was a close one. You get like, ow! Hot! Anyway. Uh, let's see if we can pull it off there now. It was successful, but challenging. Um, that thing was stuck. I mean, stuck. Uh, you can see where that puller was just hammering on the end of that shaft, but... It's off there. We'll uh, keep digging. Got to cut all the bolts off of that, unless I want to replace it. Uh, one of them broke off. The other one I cut off already. But it was a, it was it was a challenge. Uh, so we're down to the flywheel. This is what we were after, coil. Just two bolts holding on there, but. Spent some more money on it. Coil, bought it off uh, Amazon. Uh, not specific to this machine, it was a Briggs coil. Just a two cylinder coil, I don't know what. I don't know, I'm, it'll work. Uh, it's $13 and change. I'll, uh, I'll tally it at the end, but. Time to go back together. It's back together. Still got to button up a few things, but I wanted to show you. So, I went through, cut all the bolts off. You can barely tell. Kind of. I don't know. I went back over and painted it just to try and cover up some of the boogers. But look. Look at this thing now. Little anti-seas will never have to have this problem again. Uh, since I've got the welder out, uh, this bottom corner down here on the deck uh, kind of got tore out whenever we were dragging it on the trailer so I patch that back together and then we're throwing this in and doing donuts all right that's my attempted patch job so this is folded out and uh, I just ratchet strap it down and then run a bead right there and then fill the patch right up in here. So, uh, it's, it's good enough. We'll let it ride. Somebody had been patching on it before, that ain't factory. Time to put a motor in. I think I've got the important stuff hooked back up. Looking at that right there, I forgot my oil pressure switch. So, aside from that, I think I've got everything hooked up. So, I'm going to jam that together and then see if it fires or if we got to start all over. Let's 
see if that intermittent issue is solved, but positive signs. Well, I'm dirty. I don't know. Yard's a swamp, so we probably won't mow today, but I'm going to try and mow the whole yard. See if we can get it accomplished without breaking something. Like I was saying, yard's a swamp, but uh, I'm going to cruise around and hit the hot spots where I can and just get it hot enough to see if it's going to fix our problem or not. I don't know how well this will show up on film, but we got most of the front yard done. Uh, it's really too early to be mowing. Why well, I say that? It's just not thick. Majority of this is that old uh, wild garlic. But no issues on the run side of things. I think we got it plenty hot. Been riding it for shoot an hour maybe uh, it did do well underneath my Bradford pears my other one's a little too tall I either gotta get a shorter mower or trim the trees one of the two this is a little thicker here I think it holds water but it seemed to cut that a lot better than it did this kind of garlicky stuff so success sunny day I think we're gonna take take the pressure washer to this dude. Uh, a little walk around before. Uh, it's got some mold on it. I don't know how well it's gonna clean up. It's also got some mud. These tires suck. I, mean, I was saying my yard's all swampy, but I've got this thing stuck three times. Ah. It's not made for this kind of terrain, I gather. But uh, probably fast motion and then bring it back when it's done. A little windy, sorry. Uh, so this is just post wash. Um, really cleaned up well. I lost all my badges, which I was kind of expected. I think the only thing that was, I mean, they're still there. It's just, man, I think mildew was the only thing that was showing up. Boy, it is windy. I'll uh, do this little walk around real quick, uh, and then we'll go back in the shop. How about that motor? And uh, put all the skirts on it and stuff, and make it look better and dry. The deck on this thing, it's a little rusty. I mean, the rest of the old machine, man, besides the seat. But the deck's pretty rusty. And I think, I think we'd have a lot better time selling it if it wasn't glaringly obvious. So, what did we do? Went down to local Orchlands and got, what are we calling this? Gloss Ford Dark Gray. And I'm betting money that thing's going to be perfect match. Um, probably won't and it'll look like it's not supposed to be there, but we're going to do it anyway. It matched fairly close. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's different, but close enough. And it's pitted, and I could have went there and sanded all that crap out. Um, but where do you stop? I mean the seat's roached. Whole thing's kind of. This is just a little bit of makeup. I don't think it looks bad. I think we made improvements by what we did, but minimal. I don't know. No, I just gotta sell it. Sold the lawnmower. Uh, it's 
tell you as an overview, it didn't go as well as I'd planned. Uh, take some notes. So, <clears throat> bought the lawnmower for a hundred bucks, right? So expenses. Um, throttle cable, uh, fourteen bucks. Uh, gas to go get it, tubes, starter gear, coil, battery, uh, the paint that I painted the deck with, um, put a headlight in it, all that together totaled to $123. So, uh, cash money total is 223 and then just all the hours. Uh, I'll prep this and say that some of these you put a battery charger on it and then you're done. And then some of them that makes you work for it. Uh, I would say that I had way more time in this than, than normal. Uh, I mean, you have these every once in a while. It's kind of a gamble. And that's... That's kind of why it works. Um, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Okay. $223 in parts and 28 hours in time. So, way too many hours. Uh, sold the lawnmower for $700. You calculate out the math. It is seventeen dollars an hour. Uh, not breaking any records there. Uh, I don't know. You'll have some. It could have been a bust. Could have been motored blue junk, and we could have lost our butts on it. Or it could have just fired right up, and we could have made five hundred bucks and thirty minutes worth of work. Um. Just the way it goes. But, I mean, it's still better than nothing. Most of the time, I'll piddle on something like that as opposed to watching TV or sitting in the house. But, 17 bucks now. Not breaking in six figures yet, but maybe one of these days. Thanks for watching.